Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. My name is Nadia and Sands. This, of course, is Learn How to Edit Stuff. And today, very exciting stuff. We are talking about auto reframe sequence in Adobe Premiere. Ah, yes, the feature you may have heard about but never used. And then after today's video, you're going to understand why it's useful. And it is very useful. What is it? What does it do? It does exactly what you think it does. It auto reframes your sequence into a different dimension. Now, why would I ever want to do that? Great question. It's happened to me. It may happen to you if it hasn't already, but you do a video in 16 by 9. You're ready to deliver it, everything is all good, and then the client or whoever you're doing the video for will say, hey, love the video, can we get it in square format for Instagram? Or can we get it in vertical format for Instagram? And when you hear that, especially if you have a long video, it is just a sinking, crappy feeling because now you have to go in and take your video that you spent all this time on and reframe it for a different format that it was never intended to be in in the first place. And it used to take a lot of time because it used to be a lot of manual labor, but in Adobe Premiere 2020 with machine learning algorithms and all this amazing stuff, you can click on one thing and it will auto reframe your sequence to exactly what you need. Usually it's the standard formats for social media, which is 1080 by 1080 square one to one or nine by 16 vertical video, which is 1080 by 1920. It's the opposite of what uh, you can also add custom dimensions if you need, but it does work really well with the ones that you're probably going to be asked for anyway. So if you didn't know about auto reframe sequence until today, this video may blow your mind. If you've heard about it, but never really used it, this video may blow your mind. If you've used it and you're comfortable with it, sit back, relax, and just enjoy the show. I'm going to open up Adobe Premiere to show you guys how awesome this is. Let's get started. All right, guys, I've got Adobe Premiere open and down on my timeline, I have a 1920 by 1080 sequence that I edited and I'm going to play it for you guys right now. Shout out to my buddy AJ at Advent Films for letting me use this footage. Looks amazing. As always, go check him out, Advent Films. All right, so I've got this video. It's finished. I am ready to deliver it to client. It is in 16 by 9, and all of a sudden, they want to get it in 1080 by 1080, one-to-one -one format for their Instagram. In the past, I would have had to come down here to the sequence, duplicate the sequence, open that duplicate, come up here, go to sequence settings, change this to 1080 by 1080, and manually go in here and set a bunch of keyframes and make sure that all of these videos were formatted to the right aspect ratio that I needed them to be in. And I would have had to set a bunch of keyframes to make sure that all of it is staying centered within the, no, we don't have to do that anymore because auto reframe sequence is amazing. All right, check this out. I'm gonna come right down here to my sequence, right click on it, come right over here to auto reframe sequence and it will open up a new dialogue inside of Adobe Premiere. And it's gonna ask you a couple different things. What do you wanna call it? What aspect ratio do you want it in? And what motion preset do you want? And do you wanna nest some clips? So let's start with the target aspect ratio. We are gonna go square one to one because my fictitious client wants it in square format for Instagram. The motion preset, you have slower motion, default and faster motion. And this is where you're gonna tell Premiere what actually is in your video. Is your video a lot of faster? motion is a lot of slow motion but for this one we're going to pick default because default seems to work really well and then right down here clip nesting you can choose not to nest the clips which will replace your current motion adjustments or nest the clips which will keep your motion adjustments but remove transitions i don't have any transitions on my timeline it is just simple cuts so i'm going to choose not to nest the clips and i'm going to click create and now instantaneously down on my timeline, I have that exact same sequence in a one-to-one -one ratio i'm going to render it real quick so we can watch it through all right, let's see how it did. Okay, it did a really good job of auto reframing this entire sequence and I haven't even made micro adjustments yet, but just to get to this point, if I were to do it manually, it would have taken a long time and this just automatically threw it on the timeline and now I can go in there and make micro adjustments to my frames and it's just gonna save me a lot, a lot, a lot of time. These first and second clips I have no issues with at all. It is framed up exactly in the center of my frame. But this third clip right here, I wanna be able to see the girl that's working on the camera that is slightly off screen. So what I'm gonna do is come down to the front of my clip right here, set a position keyframe, click on motion right up here, which will allow me to move the frame within the frame. Hold down shift, click and drag, 
I'm just gonna reframe the back of her head right center at the beginning of this clip. Go to the end over here. Again, holding down shift, clicking and dragging. And I'm just gonna reframe up so that this girl working on the camera comes into frame. And now when I play this, it is drifting over to the right. And now I am happy with that. And I didn't have to do too much work. Happy with this clip, happy with this clip, happy with this clip, happy with this clip, happy with that clip. All right, the shot where she's walking towards the car, I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And you can see that there are three keyframes automatically put onto this footage because Adobe Premiere is setting the motion keyframes with what it thinks you want to see. But because I wanna see a little bit of this car, what I'm gonna do is just delete these two keyframes over here. Come to the first keyframe, click on motion, hold down shift, click and drag. And I just wanna reframe a little bit here so you can see the car that she's walking towards. Great, love it. Her getting into the car, again, gonna delete this keyframe here, go to the first keyframe, click motion, hold shift, click and drag, and just reframe up a little bit here. Nice, happy with that, happy with that, happy with this, happy with that. The car is kind of halfway out of the frame here, so what I'm gonna do is manually add my own keyframe here, click on motion, hold down shift, click and drag, and just reframe that so it is in the frame. And now when I play this, it will stay in the frame the entire time and we only added one keyframe. Everything is looking good up until this point. Maybe we wanna just adjust this last clip right down here. I will delete all of these keyframes entirely and I will just move this over to where I think is going to look good. And for this title, I'm gonna knock it down to 75% scale just because I wanna see the outside borders of this title, but Premiere will auto reframe your titles as well. And there you have it, guys. We were able to auto reframe this sequence. It took minutes instead of hours. You didn't have to do any manual labor, and this looks great right out of the bat. The Adobe Machine Learning really does a great job of reframing all of this stuff so you don't have to do a tremendous amount of work. And now I can just send this to the client, and it literally took me no time at all. All right, we've knocked out the square format. What I can do is come back to my original sequence over here, go to auto reframe sequence, and now we are going to do vertical nine by 16. All the things exactly the same. I'm going to click create and it will do it instantaneously. And now I have a vertical video format of the same video and we're gonna have a couple of the same issues, but that's okay. We can come right in here, set our keyframe manually, then come right down here to the end and just reveal over here and it will do the exact same things. You'll have to make a little bit of micro adjustments, but that's okay. But for the most part, it is getting you off to the races and getting started very, very quickly without you having to do any work at all. And that is it guys, auto reframe sequence. I don't really know what else I have to say. It is an amazing addition to Premiere 2020 and it saves you as an editor a tremendous amount of time. And you know my theory, time is money, money is time. The more time you save, the more money you make. Unless you're doing this for free as a favor, in which case you don't make any money, but it's still a cool feature. All right, no more manual labor. You guys are gonna right click on that sequence, go to auto reframe sequence, and you're gonna let Adobe Premiere and your computer and all the processing power and the machine learning algorithm and all that crazy stuff that they've been building over at Adobe you're gonna let all of that do the work for you. And you're just gonna sit back, relax, make a couple little micro adjustments and then send that file off. Send it, send that file, send it off, send that file. All right, if you guys have any follow-up questions, drop them in the comment section down below. Also last week, I started a learn how to edit stuff Discord channel. Links are in the video description for you guys to come and join the Discord. A bunch of chats in there if you wanna get in touch with me, suggest tutorials, all of that fun stuff. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and also check out the last video that you missed. We do them here weekly at learn how to edit stuff at Naughty and Sands on social if you want to get in touch. Also, join the Discord, subscribe, check out the last video, and I will see you next time.